So before we load the chain into the machine, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do a thorough inspection of your chain. You're gonna to wanna to check your drivers, check your link straps, check your rivets, check your cutters, make sure none of them are bent, cracked, damaged, etc. that either need to be repaired or replaced. They could make the chain unsafe to run, not to mention that they won't run smoothly through the uh, sharpener. So you need to go through that. The other thing to check is to make sure that the chain has plenty of flex, all the links roll freely. If you get some, a lot of times if you get pitch into the, into the links there, they'll bind up. Simply cleaning the chain up there will uh, free it up. The other thing to watch out for is to make sure that you don't have any skip links. So this is a standard non-skip chain. And what that means is that you follow a pattern every other. So we've got a cutter, a skip link, a cutter, a link, a cutter, a link, cutter, link, all the way around the chain, every other. Skip tooth chain, you'll see has a cutter, a strap, a strap, a cutter, a strap, a strap, a cutter. This is a full skip chain in that every cutter has two skip links after it. The distance between these cutters will not allow the chain to advance in our machine. So if you've got a chain like this where it's got more than one strap in between the cutters, this will not work. Even if you've got a chain that's a standard non-skip chain where it's got cutters every other, but then where they've joined the chain together, they've got one extra strap in between the cutters so that it looks more like this guy here where there's two straps in between the cutters, that won't work. The last thing we need to do is count the cutters. So either you can go through the old fashioned way, because you wanna actually count cutters. So you can, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Or if you know the number of drive links, the number of cutters should be exactly half of that.